Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. Now I recently put out a video introducing you to the RT Systems programming software for the ASU FT991A uh, HF, VHF, and UHF all mode ham radio. By the way, this also, the same software package will uh, work with the FT991. Uh, you just have to select which one you're installing when you first install it. Uh, in that video, I showed you how to enter memories. Uh, in case you missed it, I'll post it at the end of this video, link to it in the video description, or you can just click on this. This video is going to show you how the RT system software can be used to set your menu items and do a few other cool things. Uh, now, as a disclaimer, I do not work for RT Systems. I'm not receiving any kind of compensation from them for doing this video. That said, I am a fan, and in fact, I've purchased their software for just about every radio I've ever used. I'm in the CW mode. Please note that I'm at five watts out and I am feeding this into a dummy load. Also, please note that down here uh, on the bottom, this bottom row is called your main row. And if I were to click out of here, you see that remains. So these are your quick access functions. Right now it's set to sweep, speed, five watts, and meter. Uh, you change my meter to something that I'd prefer. We'll go with power out. One thing I do want to show you is my braking is on. I do have my keyer, my wind keyer USB plugged in to my key jack. And I'm going to go to the channels. And I'm going to press channel one. That was just to show you that there's nothing in there. Now I'm going to go to my SSB mode. I go down here to mode and I pick upper sideband and you'll see that this bottom row has changed. I'll go ahead and clear that so you can see that it's now at sweep, mic gain, RF power, and meter. We're going to be making some changes to both the SSB and the CW modes when we get to our, the RT systems. So I just wanted to show that to you. If you do a lot of ham radio stuff on your computer, I recommend that you do something along this lines. Uh, I have a folder here called ham radio. And I'm going to open that. And you'll see I have a folder here called radio programmers. The one we're going to talk about right away is this FT991A programmer, but a little later on we're going to talk about this menu editor. So I'm going to open the menu editor, then I'm going to open up the radio programmer, and it's going to come up. I'm going to start by downloading everything off of my radio, and I'm going to get the memory channels and the menus at 9600 bits per second, it's going to take a little while. Uh, but don't fret, I am going to uh, fast forward through that. And we're up. So we're going to open up our settings. And we are going to go into the radio menu settings. And once this pops up, I'm going to go over here to the group monitor. And we're going to work through these tabs right to left. The group monitor is used in the system fusion. And uh, I don't really use system fusion other than monitoring it and go back to talk to someone. Uh, operating modes, you have each individual operating mode here. And you can see those. And under that are uh, often used menu items that are uh, used within those uh, particular modes. Uh, the numbers that you see associated with it here, 41, 42, 43, 44, 
those are actually the menu numbers uh, on your radio. Now let's go to RXTX and you got some just general settings here and uh, your parametric equalizer is over here. Uh, this is your AGC, uh, your general stuff, uh, HF max power, 100. Uh, 50 meter max power and so on. Uh, and finally we're going to come over here to the common. And on the common, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is tell you is you could put your call right in here. Uh, next, you, your uh, memories, your channels, uh, you can uh, add your messages right here. And so I'm going to put in CQ, D, E, N, D, 3, N, K. And you see that little squiggly, uh, squiggly parentheses there? That's uh, what directs your uh, rig to go back into receive mode. So it'll send that message and go back to receive mode. Now under SSB, uh, these are your primary functions, which are on the bottom row that I just showed you. And we're going to change sweep to monitor. And you just dial through. There's monitor. Under CW, again, we're going to change sweep to monitor. And we're going to change speed to the zero in. Just have to find it. There it is. Z in. And that allows you to zero beat your uh, frequency and change RF power to break in. Now with all those set, I'm going to close it. I'm going to say apply changes and close. And now I'm going to go in my communications and I'm going to send my data to the radio. I'm only sending the menus. <laughs> And uh, before I go ahead and do the turn off and turn back on to complete the process over on the radio to lock in those changes, uh, I will point out that uh, even though I only uploaded the menu, I did that for expediency's sake. Uh, you can upload just memories, just menus, or both of them. So I'm going to shut off my rig. Turn it back on, and the menu changes are in there. We have just uploaded everything from the RT system software, and uh, you can now see that on CW mode, we have monitor, break in, and our zero beat, our Z in, zoom in, I guess. We also if I can get here, there we go. We'll go back to our channels. And you'll notice when I push channel one, you'll see that that message is now in channel one. Let's change the mode to SSB and we'll set it here and notice that our monitor is on. So instead of sweep, this now says monitor and you can select the monitor on or off right from there. So on and you can adjust the levels if you want. So everything that I, all the changes that I made in the menus functions showed up here. Now we're going to go to our menu editor, which I showed you earlier. And this is going to be very brief. Uh, this gives you a quick access to everything. Again, you have communications, you know, get and send. Uh, and you, uh, every, everything that you need is, is in here. And that's uh, all I'm going to say about that. But you can see I'm going to scroll down. So there, there's all the settings. Yeah, and they're, they're just quick settings. If you just need to make a quick setting to your uh, menu. 
I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and learned a little bit about this alternative to hand entering the menu items and the other uh, functions. As I said during the intro, I do not currently nor have I ever worked for RT Systems. I'm receiving no compensation for this video, but I am a fan and would strongly encourage you to purchase a copy for yourself. It's only 25 bucks for a download version and you won't need the cable so you don't have to go with one of the upgraded versions. Uh, the cable is a standard USB type A to type B printer cable, which you probably have plugged into the back of your rig already. Please take a moment to like. <laughs> Please like me. This video. Please share. Thank you for sharing. This with your friends in the FT991A community, especially on social media. Leave a comment. Questions? Comments? Below with any questions your experiences with RT system software, or even if you just want to say howdy. Finally, please consider subscribing. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Brad. It would mean the world to me, and I thank you for your support. Here is the first video about how to use your software to set your 991A memories. By the way, it can also be used on the 991 Slick. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. Always at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, 73, and I am out.